But what are you saying? Please, Fred. Goodbye, beautiful. Honey? Fred? Fred? It's a demon, lady! Stop it! Oh my god! What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to... Do not feed the monkeys. I'm your host, the bird, Benotus Falcon. You guys let me know that today, day 15, is indeed my final day. I still thought I had day 16 to get stuff done, but I do not. Well, that means as well is that a lot of you guys told me, Falcon, you might not be able to see the solution to some of the cages you have active because after today it's over. So, I'll leave it up to you guys. If you want to see another run, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up, and we'll do another run. And more importantly, there's a lot of other cages that we didn't pop this run around. What's good about the game is that it's got a lot of replay value because there's a lot of different cages that we still haven't seen. President Walker re-elected. <laughs> is that Donald Trump? That looks like Donald Trump, huh? Uh, this is not just a personal victory, it's a victory for the people and for democracy. Mm -hmm. This, you guys let me know that you think it's a dead camera. That's what the most, that's what I've heard thus far. That the blinking is maybe a trick, I don't know. But I heard most of you guys say it was a, um, a dead camera. Let's go to Chili Pepper and Demon. Red Fred. In keeping with demonetology tradition, so it's not apparently Satan, but it's Red Fred. He's a powerful demon with irresistible charm and personal magnetism. He is covered. He is considered responsible for organizing and supervising the torture of souls that, for the gravity of their sins, merit such punishment. Hmm. Alrighty, so we got chili peppers. Um, what if we do Red Fred Exorcist? Ah, Red Fred exists and I swear I'll kill him. Maximilian Fry chats with us. Alright, just ignore that. I have very good reasons for going after that creature from hell, he said to the veteran crusader. What is it now? What is it now? It's just the camera with the therm thermal thing. Agony. Okay, so Maximilian Fry, do we have info about him so we can call him up? Yes, we do. We got a phone number for Maximilian Fry. Let's call this bad boy up. How can I help you? I don't think he cares about whippy weather. Let's ask about Red Fred or Maximilian Fry. How did you end up being an exorcist? Well, that's a very good question, I would say, Snow. Maybe get some more information. I'm sure if we need it, but, um... Oh, well, I love being asked that question. Are you from the press or just a staunch fan? Well, you see, you could say that I've been an exorcist since I was little. I've always had a res irrepressible desire to fight evil. You know, the desire to... Mm, the desire to destroy it. Dismember it. Annihilate it. Crush it. Oh, yes. Eviscerate it. Pulverize it. Impale it with a very long, sharp stake. Burn it in a fire while I savor the experience of listening to its screams of agony and unbearable pain. So I studied to get my official degree, and I've been working as an exorcist for over 40 years. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. And where do you get a degree on that? <laughs> yeah, where do you get an exorcist degree from? The Vatican or what? Of course, by the time I was just 10, I was already performing exorcisms on insects and household pets. A little later, I performed one on my cousin Margaret, for which I earned a little... The, the title of Up and Coming, I think. This guy's not right in the head, is he? Pets, insects, and his cousin? Basically, I'm one of the most brilliant exorcists of my generation. In fact, I hold the world's record for mass exorcisms. I snatched two busloads full of drunken tourists from the jaws of evil in just 2 hours, 45 minutes, and 36 seconds. Okay, this guy's not right, but you know what? This de this devil that's apparently spawning devil kids must go. Oh, Red Fred, the muscle-bound abomination from the hell. I've been after that cruel home-wrecking monster all my life, but he's so intelligent and slippery that he gets away. He'll pay dearly one day for what he did to me. I'll kill him, I swear. But what did Red Fred do to you? Home-wrecking monster? What do you mean? Well, we've seen him like, um... You know, apparently impregnate that lady. You see, Red Fred has had one obsession for many, many years, which is to find the ideal woman to be the mother of his child. Something that, up to now, he hasn't been able to do. And I know it's because, because, one of his first victims was my very own mother. <gasps> Are you a son of him? Are you like Alucard to his Dracula? That hypermuscular leviathan and seducer worked his con on her when I was very young. Oh, and when my father found out about the affair, my family life was ruined forever. I couldn't stand it, so I asked my parents to enroll me in a seminary for children. 
I don't want to see them ever again. So I started fighting evil when I was just a small type. Wow. Well, he's got a reason to hate Red Fred. And probably the reason why he went so nutty and started performing exorcism as a small kid. Well, I know where to find him, dude. I'm going to help you get your revenge on Red Fred. What? Good lord. I would appreciate a bit of help. I've been working alone day and night to destroy that handsome beast with the naked torso for years. Plus a few moments ago, for a few months ago, I lost track of him. Every night he gets together with a woman who's suspecting a child. Aha! So he's trying again. The Inferno Casanova, who smells like chili peppers and his obsession with becoming a father. Well then, now is the right time to kill him. Being so close to the mother to be- but, Dude, come on, let me finish the, the thing. I was in a complete character mode here. Oh yes, we're gonna crush that demon with the enchanting smile and annihilate all of his spawn as well. Are you gonna help me, right? Say yes. Say yes, come on, say yes. Um... Sure. <laughs> sure. Okay. Good, good, good! We'll do what's called a distance exorcism. Just let me know when Red Fred and the mother-to-be are together. And I'll start the annihilation ceremony from home. But please, remember this. I can only start it when the two are together. Otherwise, Red Fred's power will remain intact. I'll sit by the phone day and night waiting your call. I can assure you it'll be worth the effort. We'll destroy this man by annihilate and crush that seductive beast. And the monstrosity inside that woman's womb. Oh my god. <laughs> this sounds really terrible. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now, dude. So, we gotta call them up when they're together, huh? Alright. A distance exorcism. Well, he shows up at nighttime, that much we do. Okay, so, that's taken care of for the most part. You need to show up again. But before I do that, Melissa Rush, we got a phone number for her place. Bring the captain home. I think we already did this one, right? Yeah, we did that one already. Um, you haven't shown up, have you? No? Okay. Cassidy, you go over there. Cassidy, we could apparently sell booze to. No, oh, there she is. Yeah, we could sell, uh, send booze to Cassidy, which is kind of like, you guys verified it for me, but I already had that idea from the last video you guys mentioned. Remember that she was talking about booze, and I was like, hmm, what happens if we send the booze over to her? No, I don't, I don't know what happens if we send the booze to her, but, um, it's the last day. We might as well just throw everything against the wall and see what sticks, right? So we got the recording here. At this point, I don't think there's anything else. Let me just send this over to Shock TV for a little bit of extra cash, I think, hopefully. Maybe the store interested? I've already sent, like, two videos. Hey, there we go. We just transferred a payment to your corresponding. Please don't send us any more Captain Rush footage. That's it. They don't want any more. That's fine. Um... Melissa Rush. What's happening here? Cassidy. Okay. Um, let's... That's just a thermal camera. Ignore that. Let's, um... I, I guess... As scummy as it is. Let's send that booze over to... El Dinamitero. Now, mind you, she probably won't get in until she gets home. Which, unfortunately, this last day, so we won't even know how that winds up. But I'll still do it. Maybe something happens. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Um, so we sent that off. Excellent. So, now that we've done that, what else do we got here? We sent them booze off to Cassidy. We got your recording. What I could try is, like, call you. Like... I've done... Haven't I done enough recordings to, like, you know, let these people know that she's alive and, like, somebody should be trying to save her? Hello, this is Al. What do you want? No, I'm not, talking about I'm not talking to anybody. Yes, I'm almost finished, I swear. Shh, we have to be quiet because I'm supposed to be doing my homework. Who are you? Al? Who's Al? Hello, Al. I'd like to talk about Melissa Rush. You want to talk about Mom? Oh, you're the son! Oh, she's alive, dude. Are you a friend of hers? Well, I can tell you something. Did you know that she was all in the papers? Lillian hides them from me so I don't get my hopes up, but I've already seen the images on the internet. I'm sure she's fine and will be home very soon. Oh, shh. I told you we have to keep our voices down. How do you know Mom? Uh, <laughs> well, you see. No, Lillian, please, let me talk for a little while. It's a friend of Mom's. Please, please, pretty, please. Hello, I'm Lillian Rush, Melissa's wife. I don't know who you are or why you're calling, but we're in a very delicate situation at the moment. The police said we should answer any personal calls to this number. Just submit it. I'll tear that's enough. Go back to your homework. Do what I say. What is he, like, a uh, freaking the first character from Assassin's Creed or what? If you want to help us, do it through our website, bring the captain home. Thank you very much. Uh, Tara, I'm not going to let you speak on the phone. The subject's closed. Why doesn't, why isn't she interested that her wife is apparently still alive? You're making money off of this website, aren't you? Hold on, let's go back to that website. Um, bring the captain home. 
After months of manipulation and lies, we now have the Melissa. We know that Melissa Rush is alive. Help us bring her home before it's too late. Help us spread the word about the case Nova 7 as widely as possible. Join her wives and friends at the daily demonstration in front of Congress between 18. Oh. Can we call the boy between this time then? Together we can save Captain Rush. We're counting on you. No, she's not asking for money, it doesn't seem. But, like, I'm trying to give you information. You're, like, go through to the website. It's kind of weird, I would say. Well, she's going to be demonstrating between that time. So, I guess maybe then we could call the boy and talk to them then. They should be, like, uh, infinity mode for this game, you know? Just keep unlocking cameras. That'd be awesome because they get everything in one go. Um, yeah, we're done over here. Cassidy's doing her thing. So, I guess, um, let's go for 18. We got two hours of sleep. I don't think there's anything else we can do. I almost, almost missed that call. I forgot completely about it. It said between 18 and 1845, right? We, we called literally 1845. I almost like, I almost squeezed the pebble out from the backside because I thought I missed it because I was over here chatting about About mom, of course, I saw her on TV again today. Shh, lower your voice if you don't want Lydia to yell at you. No, Lydia's not home. She's out right now at one of the demonstrations to bring mom home. Even though she told me that it probably won't do any good. That it's better for me not to get my hopes up. But I'm sure mom will come back, don't you think so? I am sure we'll be able to bring her back. Hmm, you really miss her, right? Am, am I gonna shake the boy down or what? <laughs> you really miss her, right? Well, here's what we could do. That's terrible, no. We'll bring her back. Yes, me too. But did you say we'll bring her back? What do you mean by that? Lydia is always saying that we all have a guardian into watching us. Are you mom's guardian angel? Are you doing something to bring her home? Um, yeah, that's what I am, a guardian angel. No, not at all. Um, it was just a figure of speech. I'll tell you, you promised to keep the secret. Do I trust a child with a secret? No, but it's also the last day. Well, whatever. See, I knew it. Tell me, tell me, what do you do? Those images of your mother on television? I sent those. Oh, that might be too much. So you're her guardian angel. You're bringing my mom back home again. It's just like in my dream. I'll tell mom we talk when she gets back. She'll be so happy. What do you mean in your dream? What dream was that? The other night I dreamt that someone was bringing mom home. And it was funny because they both arrived soaking wet from the rain. They looked like two ducks after getting out of the water. Mom smelled so good when she hugged me. It was like she never left. That's why my mom is going to come back and you're going to bring her. Okay. Well, I guess we didn't really dispel about our monkey stuff, so that's fine. Alright, buddy. He's happy. Oh, well, really? Sai, well, I guess your angels are very busy. You must have lots of work. Goodbye. And don't forget mom, please. Aww. Okay, it's going down. It's going down. It's going down. <laughs> I almost missed it. It was exactly a two. I was skipping time with, like, the bed thing. But, um... Just as I woke up, the thing was going off, and I was like, Ugh! Red Dead and the Mother be together right now. <laughs> Oh, dear God. I just started the Annihilation Ritual. I hope you're right. I also hope the couple doesn't separate while we're doing it or we're lost. If everything goes well, I'll call you back tomorrow. Something's wrong, honey. Something's very wrong. Very wrong. Fred, my love, what's happening to you? You're scaring me. Oh, it's going down, boys. No, please, not now. I was so close. I just wanted to form my own family. It's over for you, Red Fred. Settle down, change my life, I just... I just want it. I can't record this. This is the end. Please don't ever forget how much... How much I love you and the little one. No, he's freaking out, dude. This guy's just freaking out. But what are you saying? Please, Fred. Goodbye, beautiful. Honey? Fred? Fred? It's a demon, lady! Stop it! Oh my god! <laughs> well, the sign, I, I mean, imagine that the reason this camera's messed up is because um, there was something really funky that went on in there, like this guy probably just blowing up from the exorcism. Unfortunately, we won't get a uh, Maximilian call for it. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm so upset that we could have gotten that done. Maybe the Cassidy thing and the rescue from the pilot all tomorrow. But unfortunately, this day 16 just apparently kicks you straight into the end. You didn't even get the newspaper, I don't think. Alright, boys, here it is. Day 16, it's over for our run. It saddens me deeply. 
This is a really fun game. <laughs> this is like one of the funnest games I've played this year. Um, if you guys want to see another run, do let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a thumbs up and we'll do another run. Check out some new cameras and get a conclusive end to the demon killing and saving that astronaut too. But for now, let's see what we got here. Congratulations, you passed your final evaluation. You will be receiving instructions soon on how to enjoy your well-deserved reward. Of course, there's somebody knocking at the door. What if I don't answer? Oh, it's postman. Hello, apartment 16. A gentleman very mysterious gave me this for you. He says something about some monkeys. I almost no understand, so take, take. Okay, give me that. Bottle of elixir. Contains a very strange liquid and says, and has a label hanging around its neck that says, drink this cold beverage. You're just gonna believe that? You receive a mysterious package and you're just gonna drink this weird liquid. Apparently I died. Did I die? You drank the contents of the bottle in a single gulp and within a few seconds you lost consciousness. When you came to, your body felt very light. So much so that you started to float around the room and eventually passed through the ceiling. I am dead, aren't I? And that's how you travel through the city skies. You drifted freely between apartment buildings and skyscrapers. And if you squinted your eyes, you could have even see what was going on inside each one. You never felt so happy. Because <laughs> I'm a peeper now. Oh my god. At the end of your journey, you found the oracle sitting on a cloud. And they asked you the following question. We are three. We are six. And we are one. What are you looking for? I want to find out the secret cage of the great primate. You answered. Oh, dear member, the secret of the cage of the great primate has always been inside of you, they said in unison. I don't understand. What do you mean? You asked with astonishment. Well, the secret is, the great and only secret is. And when you heard it, everything dissolved into a blinding white light. And you yourself dissolved in it. And that immaculate light that makes up the very essence of the universe, like a leaf floating in the infinite currents of the most absolute and perfect cosmic heart. Apparently, it blew my mind completely that it became one with the universe. Um, there's that I know of, there's three endings. I'm not, this has got to be a good ending, I have to imagine, probably. But I'm not sure if it's the best ending. But I think it's somewhat dictated based on the actions, the feeding of the monkeys, and also if you solve most of the cases, most of the cases, we did solve most of them. I'm not sure if it's all of them because we didn't get the last two, but um. If you solve most of your cases, it leads up till when you finish. That's based on the ending and also how you treated that flower. So this might be one of the better ones, if not the best one. But I'm not 100% sure. What's this now? Once the Trihorn Deer... Oh! It's follow-up stories on the stuff that we were doing. Once the Trihorn Deer became extinct, the Wild Shotgun finished off the Downy Hare and the Zebra Boar. This earned them the Grand Patriotic Prize for their contribution to the victory of human beings in the struggle between the species. Yeah, because if we didn't bring them down, it was over for us. Oh my! After her record sales fell, and on her agent's advice, Ashley Applegate opted for a racier image, becoming the main character in her own reality show, The Hidden Gates of Ashley Apple Nude. Today, photos of her fully glowed fetch high prices on the black market? I have those, why well, I did before I left my earthly apparition. Uh, welcome, Los Dumas. The city of Los Dunas grew so large that it became the seat of the government, and the, con the congressional and senate offices were moved there. Today, all elected officials receive a 1,500 in chips, a case of scotch whiskey, and a two-night stay at the casino, other choice upon being sworn in. After vanishing Red Fred, Maximilian Fry lost his passion for exorcism, and he ended up leaving the priesthood. Years later, and after finding himself, he started a sauna business, which he named the Chili Pepper. <laughs> Months after the disappearance, authorities were obliged to close the golf course where the local trucker and his wife were last seen. Accidents involving electric carts had mysteriously increased fivefold in just a few months. Lower the Curtain became one of Ethan Edge's best selling records today. In certain circles, it is rumored that his death was faked and that the artist is in reality returned incognito to his bird planet. Of course, Bowie never died, he just went back home. You have completed the path of the enlightened monkey. Well, there you guys have it. 
As I mentioned, one more run, different cages. You let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy Do Not Feed the Monkeys. This is actually a really fun game. And there's a lot of different other cages right there that we can get, so we could definitely check those out. You guys let me know how you feel about more. I will catch you next time.